Hey everybody, I am back home in the comforts of home, away from them black hats at Don Best, preferably Pat Williams, who of course talked me into taking the Cincinnati Reds last week. Okay, two game slide. We'll get over it. Uh, speaking of Pat Williams and my friend Todd Furman, trusted both of them yesterday, uh, last weekend at the Caesars pool. Got a cabana, had some work to do. Said, guys, you need anything? Just sign my name. Their hands must be falling off from signing vodka and shrimp cocktails and cases of cases of Heineken and buying everybody's stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself, guys. I'll send you a bill. All right, time to make money. San Francisco on Friday. Bumgartner goes to Atlanta to face Medlin. Two ways of looking at this game, guys. There's two points of view. Um, two people could make a case for both sides. Basically, you play the hotter pitcher. You know, Medlin's pitching very well. Uh, Bumgarner's not. Uh, that is probably the reason this line is minus 160. Uh, might, might even be higher, but they're going to make the home team favorite. They always do, and they're going to make the hotter pitcher uh, a bigger favorite. That's what odds makers in baseball like to do because we basically look at the last games, the last two games, and that's what betters normally go off of. And I'm not saying I don't do it, but with me, I'm more of a head-to-head -head kind of guy. I don't care how good you are, how bad you are. If you own a team or if a pitcher, you know, if a pitcher owns a team or a hitter owns a pitcher, that's what I like. Uh, I, I looked at both of these pitchers, and you, you look at some of the numbers. Medlin, who, who's been a hot pitcher, when he, when he faced the Giants five and a third, uh, eight hits, Five walks, five runs, three home runs. Uh, the Giants whacked him. I think the Giants beat him ten to one. When, when, when I flip the, when I flip it over and I look at a Bumgarner, I mean, what he did against, uh, I mean, what he did against Atlanta. Atlanta loves left-handed pitchers. They don't love this left-hander. I mean, he just shut the Braves down. He might have pitched his best game or one of his best games of the year against the Braves. So. The Braves have a tough time hitting Bumgarner. San Francisco has an easy time of hitting Medlin. Something, I, I look at it like this. I look at it like I have two things going in my favor. You know, I, I have a pitcher who could calm down a lineup, and I have a, a batting order in San Francisco that whacks around Atlanta's pitcher. I, I looked at this game that looks like a 63% play. I have a 63% chance of winning, and you're going to give me 140 or 150. I, I'm going to do it all day long. You give me a percentage that's in my favor to win and give me odds on top of that, end the story. I, uh, that's, that's the game. I'm going to play the San Francisco Giants. And, yeah, a lot of people are saying, wow, he's lost two straight and he's going with a big underdog. The Giants don't know they're underdogs. They're the better team in this spot. I'm going to take the Giants. Uh, before I go, for all my buddies at Don Best, thanks very much for the hospitality last weekend. Guys, view some of their work. Todd Furman, Kenny White, Brian Blessing, all the guys out there do a great job. And come visit me at sportsforumpicks.com. That's www.sportsforumpicks.com. You can follow me on Twitter at, at thefactsman1. And basically, get on this one because this one won't lose. Let's get some dog money with the San Francisco Giants on Friday, and we'll be back at you next week. This is the Faxman for Don Best TV and Sports Forum Picks saying good day, good luck, and have a great Friday.